How Jennifer Coolidge Became an Icon at 61 Jennifer Coolidge, born August 28, 1961, is an American actress. She is primarily a character actress with roles in comedic film and television. In this video, we'll feature how Jennifer Coolidge became an icon at the age of 61. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. Coolidge had supporting roles in the American Pie film series, 1999-2012, and the Legally Blonde film series, 2001-2003. She has regularly collaborated with Christopher Guest on his mockumentary films, such as Best in Show, 2000, A Mighty Wind, 2003, For Your Consideration, 2006, and Mascots, 2016. She has also appeared in the films A Cinderella Story, 2004, Click, 2006, Date Movie, 2006, Epic Movie, 2007, Promising Young Woman, 2020, and Single All the Way, 2021. On television, Coolidge has appeared in the sitcoms Joey, 2004-2006, The Secret Life of the American Teenager, 2008-2012, and Two Broke Girls, 2011-2017, and the drama series The Watcher, 2022. She gained acclaim for starring as Tanya McWoid, an insecure rich woman, in the HBO anthology series The White Lotus, 2021-2022, winning a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award. Speaking about her earlier roles, Coolidge told The Guardian, People assumed I could only do certain kinds of role. That lady who comes in, opens a door, says something funny, then closes it. You get put in a box as comic relief. In 1999, Coolidge got her big break playing Janine Stifler, or Stifler's mom in American Pie. Coolidge was a mainstream sex symbol the mother of all MILFs, worshipped by heterosexual men everywhere. This role reached cult status and made her a star in the process. The reality of Coolidge being just 30 years old and playing the mother of an 18-year-old boy didn't bother her at the time. In fact, Coolidge once told US Weekly, I've always looked old for my age. I bought a case of beer when I was 11 with my neighbor's wig. Within the space of three years, Coolidge appeared in Legally Blonde, A Cinderella Story, Friends, Sex and the City, and who can possibly forget, Legally Blonde 2, Red, White and Blonde. All roles which helped to cement her as a gay icon. During interviews with Coolidge, there is always authenticity. She's incredibly candid, once, when speaking about being offered an audition for the Legally Blonde musical as Paulette, the character she had already played in the film she recalled, I said to my agent, what do you mean, audition? It's not a straight offer? Look, if I got up on stage and farted, and that's all I did, it would still be the lady from the movie. Many came to realize Coolidge's real-life similarity to the airy, outlandish characters she plays following her Emmy win speech in September 20222 where she responded to being played off after acceptance monologue by simply dancing along to the music. In The White Lotus, and she stole every scene she appeared in. In the first season alone, Coolidge's performance as the entitled and insecure Tanya McWoid was already being described by critics as exceptional and a raw triumph. The role of Tanya McWoid was written specifically for her by actor, screenwriter, and close friend Mike White. White has known Coolidge for years and knew exactly what she was capable of. Apparently Coolidge doubted herself during filming for the White Lotus first season. Did I feel like I was nailing it on any level? No, she told The Guardian. Luckily, she said the similarities between her and Tanya are what saved her. I'd been incredibly depressed during the pandemic. I lost my own mother at an early age. A family member passed away during COVID and we couldn't hold a proper memorial. So I had all that going for me. Coolidge was the only main cast member asked to return for its second season, reprising her role as Tanya McWoid. Her storyline this time around, spoiler ahead, focused less on grief and insecurity, and more on murderous, thieving high-end gaze and insecurity. Despite the bar having been set high from the season prior, Coolidge's second inning as Tanya was even more well-received than the last. Jennifer has consistently expressed her gratitude for White, 
who she thanked in her Golden Globe speech on Tuesday when she ascended the stage in head to toe Dolce and Gabbana Black sequins to accept the award for Best Supporting Actress in a Limited Series Slash Motion Picture. You changed my life in a million different ways, she said as a second camera focused in on white crying and laughing in the audience. The Hasty Pudding Theatricals, the oldest theatrical organization in the United States, has named actor Jennifer Coolidge as the recipient of its 2023 Woman of the Year Award. The Woman of the Year Award is the Hasty Pudding Theatricals' oldest honor, bestowed annually on performers who have made lasting and impressive contributions to the world of entertainment. The Woman of the Year festivities will be held on February 4, 2023, when Coolidge will lead a parade through the streets of Harvard Square. Following the parade, the Hasty Pudding Theatricals will host a celebratory roast for Coolidge, after which she will be presented with her pudding pot at Farkas Hall in Harvard Square. The 61-year-old actress now certified as one of the hottest names in Hollywood and open for other projects, there's no shortage of options in front of her, and those doors she once saw as closed will be swinging open left, right and center. Coolidge is a tour de force and now everybody knows it. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.